Hello everyone and welcome to Just Brand. It is the year 2020 and here in the United States that means it is the year for our election. During this time in 2020 around October, November, us Americans have the opportunity to let our voices be heard and vote for the next president of the United States. So in this video, I want to show you guys how we do it here in America when we're voting for a new president. So let's get to it. Voting. Let's go. So 2020 has been a crazy year, but even with all the craziness going on, we still have the chance to vote for our next president. One way that we have to do it this year is mail-in votes, which is very different from what we usually do, which is in-person voting. Since Azucha and I moved to Utah, um, I'm a resident of the state of Massachusetts. Therefore, I need to vote as a Massachusetts resident rather than a Utah resident. So what I have to do is I have to go to the library and print out this. It's an absentee ballot form. I have to send in my request to vote by mail to Massachusetts. So I have to fill this form out, send it to Massachusetts, back to my hometown. They send me a mailing form where I can vote, and then I send that back, and therefore I officially voted. And they only ask a couple questions on here. They just ask what political party you are, and the parties are Democratic, Republican, or Independent. They also ask you which thing you're voting for, and I put down that I'm voting for the election of the presidents. So therefore I wrote that down and my political party, that's it, gotta send that out and I should hear back from them soon to get the other letter to officially vote. So I just sent in my ballot in the mail. We just have to wait for a response and they were going to be mailing me back my official voting form. So all we can do now is wait. Hey guys, it's been about 10 days since I sent in my absentee form and I got it. My official ballot for the state of Massachusetts. I've never seen this before, so let's open it up and check what's inside. There it is. My Massachusetts ballot. So the first thing I get is a instruction. It's basically just telling you how to vote, saying mark your ballot, put your ballot into the yellow ballot envelope, sign the envelope, and place your signed envelope into the right return envelope and seal the return envelope and return your ballot in mail. And step three is basically you voted. And you can actually track when your vote counts by going to a certain website. And that's gonna be cool too. So here you have your early absentee state election ballot. It's basically just gives you everyone's name and who you can vote for. And all you have to do is just put a dot where you're voting for. Next to them is basically saying if you're gonna be voting Democratic or Republican. That also tells you what you're gonna be voting for as well. So I just need a pen and vote now. I officially have voted and shared my opinions for the 2020 presidential election. And actually, this is my first time ever voting in the United States, so I've never actually done it in person. All I know is in person, you go to designated spots in which where you're registered, and in person, you go to these things that we call booths, 
you fill out your ballot the, the same way as this, put it in, and you voted. I've officially voted for the 2020 president. Therefore, I have officially done my duty as an American citizen. And I thought this was really cool to share for all of you guys in Japan wondering how we vote here in the United States. I want to thank all you guys for your continued support in this channel. We appreciate everything that you guys say, everything you guys do for us, all the videos you watch, and great comments down below. Also, I appreciate all the help Azusa does to translate for this video. She helps so much, so please check out her channel in the description down below. I want to thank everyone so much for watching. Chandru Toku, onegaishimasu, and remember, we are Hito.